Bart is a library of images and graphics available to use. Microsoft Office is typically installed with basic images. Essentially, clip art is a picture that will be inserted into your document. Move your cursor to your menu bar and select Insert, select Picture, and then select Clip Art. A task pane will open and display the entire collection of images available. In the Search In Filter option, make sure all options are checked. We want to make sure the entire computer is searched for available images. In the Results Should Be Filter option, make sure Clip Art is the only item checked. Now, let us imagine our presentation is about flowers. We can search our entire collection of Clip Art for images that have been tagged with the word flower. Type flower in the Search For field and then click Go. The clip art selection has narrowed to show only those images that are flower related. By hovering over the image, you will see some of the descriptive tags associated with the image. If you click on the image, it will be added to the slide. The image can easily be resized to fit appropriately on the slide. By clicking a corner of the image, we can increase or decrease the size without losing the correct aspect ratio. By clicking the center of the image and dragging, we can move it. And if the image is still highlighted, we can click our delete key to remove it from the slide. Adding a photo is similar to adding clip art. Photo files are usually larger and have higher resolutions, but are very similar once they have been added to a slide. You will want to know exactly where your photos are stored on your computer so you can navigate them easily. To insert a photo, select Insert from the menu bar, and then select Picture, then select From File. This will open the Insert Picture dialog box. At this point, navigate to the location on your computer where your photos are stored. Once you have located your file, select it, Click Insert and it will be added to your slide. It can then be resized and moved just like clip art. There are several other types of objects that can be added into a presentation as needed, like diagrams, charts, and tables. All three are used as supplemental visual aids and all are available from the Insert menu. Diagrams may be used to demonstrate relationships. Charts are excellent for comparing data. And tables can be designed to look like a spreadsheet. There may be a place for audio and video in a presentation. Audio and video may equally be referred to as multimedia. A light soundtrack to play behind the presentation or a comedic sound effect can be found in the clip organizer. CDs may also be linked to play simultaneously with the slideshow. The subject of a presentation may refer to a video clip that can support the message. All multimedia can be added directly from the insert menu. To practice adding multimedia, click on Insert, and then click on Movies and Sounds, and then click on Sound from Clip Organizer. This will open the Clip Art Task pane. In the Results Should Be filter, make sure Sounds is the only option selected. To preview a sound, hover over a file until the gray bar appears to the right. Click on the bar and then select Preview Properties. You may use the Search For field to find a particular sound based on tags. Once you have found a sound, double click it. Whenever a sound is added, an icon will be added to the slide and you will be asked if you want the sound to start automatically with the slide or when the icon on the slide is clicked. For now, select 
when clicked. To sample the sound again, double click the icon. The icon itself is an image and can be relocated on the slide. The sound can be deleted by highlighting the icon and clicking delete. Most multimedia files do not become part of the presentation itself. Instead, they are linked to the presentation. So if you're going to show the presentation on a computer other than the one that you are using to create the presentation, it is important to make sure that the linked video and audio files are being copied to the same location as the presentation itself. By using the Package for CD option, the PowerPoint and all of the files it links to will be copied to a single folder for easy access. To access the Package for CD option, move your cursor to the menu bar and select File, then select Package for CD. To give the CD or folder a specific title, type it in the Name the CD field. If you would just like to save the folder instead of the CD, click Copy to Folder. There you can choose the location to save your new folder. The PowerPoint presentation and all of the linked files will then be saved to this folder. This session touched on some of the features available in PowerPoint 2003. For more information, visit www.microsoft.com or send your comments, questions, and suggestions to the Millikan University Help Desk by sending an email to infotech at millikan.edu.